Well, I know most of you are awake and know exactly what's going on. There are a number of you that are call yourselves conservatives, Christians, Tea Party, and all the different adjectives that go along with it. But the reality is, many of you, as Ron Paul said, are being taken for a ride. I want to show you the ride you're being taken on and what's coming and how you are being co-opted in to believing an absolute lie being created by the New World Order and those that construct it, prepare it, use these people. These people are, many of them, mind control operatives. And let's look at one of them who is definitely in the center of it all. Ron Paul, the true father of the Tea Party, the leader, the one that has presented liberty and truth, constitution, freedom, the one that is consistent and consistently votes in favor of the citizens to bring back the government to the people and to remove the control of money from the Federal Reserve to end the Fed. The one who stands for true rights and true freedoms to bring back our soldiers that are fighting in wars that we don't belong in, that have been contrived by the New World Order and the banksters who want more and more control, more and more power, deliver more and more to the uh, elite, the globalist elite at the top of the ladder. But here's the man that comes on the scene some 30 years ago and has remained consistent. But will the media allow him to roll in? The mainstream corporate whore media come in and no, he's been silenced. They've done everything they can to try to quiet him, silence him. So what do they do? They try to pretend to ignore him. But even that doesn't work because they know in time the truth is going to get out and enough people are going to get get it. But who do they bring to try to uh, co-op the movement? They brought in some uh, operatives into the Republican Party that have used, been used inside the Republican Party to take over the Tea Party because the Tea Party was based upon the anti-Fed movement, it was based upon Ron Paul uh, in his views and his thoughts on freedom and liberty and bringing back our country to the people. So they have these, all, all these different directions that they're coming from. We saw in the straw poll, we saw this Michelle Bachman come in and Michelle Bachman, a uh, uh, IRS enforcer, and uh, obviously a part of the system, though she is not the uh, chosen one of the system, we can see that she is just there to help to concentrate the power and the the vote away from just enough from Ron Paul so that they can pretend like he's not there, just as they did, and she come in and bought up four thousand votes in the uh, Iowa straw poll and that was enough to throw the first place by over 200 votes, just over 200 votes to her, putting Ron Paul uh, basically at a tie but on the bottom side of the of the tier of the tie. So they pretend like he didn't exist, and then they covered number one, her, and then number two, the guy that dropped out, I think it was Lenny who dropped out but she's never meant to be there she's never going to win they know it she's not been uh, vetted for that purpose she's vetted for one pur purpose right now that's to keep Ron Paul from having that moment of, uh, of being on the top 
So now she's beginning to fade. Her numbers aren't even reaching Ron Paul's nationally. They bring in Rick Perry and Romney, and that's not what this is about. This is about what is Palin up to? And I know maybe you think this is a distraction and side issue, but it, she keeps coming into it. And we can see, we look at these people, and, and, and look at this, uh, this Michelle Bachman here for just one second, because there's a comparison there. Here are the pertinent points on Bachman. She's relatively new face, polling well, at least for now. Uh, blah, blah, blah about Iowa. But here she is, uh, tax attorney. Bachman allegedly went after a taxpayer earning less than 10000 a year and at a time when Geithner, uh, so forth. Here's what I want to look at. Bachman has appeal to social conservatives. She is a Christian, a Lutheran, but then so is Ron Paul, who was Lutheran in upbringing and now attends a Baptist church. But she will use this for her political gain. Ron Paul does not. He does not bring his religion into his politics, into that part of it. And that's his personal belief, what he lives off of, his moral standards and the things that keep him tr tried true and steady. With Bachman, obviously, it's going to become her little political ploy. Well, we see the same thing with Palin. And we see Bachman now failing, so we see Palin visits uh, the Iowa State Fair. At the time that the Iowa straw poll was going on, most likely to be help be a gain for Bachman to gain, gain a little strength out of that to, to, to uh, take away from Ron Paul. You see, these people are operatives. They've all been designed. She, was, she didn't all of a sudden show up as uh, vice president, uh, uh, it, uh, the uh, runner up with uh, McCain in the last presidency, she didn't just show up and she was appointed. She had been prepared within the operation. She's an operative. She has handlers. She's, she is doing what she is being designed to do. And she's going through the entire procedure as she's been designed to do. The Iowa State Fair was exactly that. Let's take a quick look at this uh, Iowa Iowa State Fair and how they primed her up. The blue ribbon winner for popularity at the Iowa State Fair, Sarah Palin. Thank you so much. She toured the cattle barn along with a herd of reporters and fans. Finally got a chance to get on the road, drive on over here. The former Alaska governor and vice presidential nominee said she'll decide by the end of the summer whether to get into the crowded Republican presidential race. We'll try to figure it out as we go a couple of the different places. Sure, absolutely. What is your name? I've watched her TV things and stuff. She'll do things just to be show us that she's a normal person, just like every one of us. And I like that because I'm a farm wife and it shows that she can do what we can do. Meanwhile, in between the life-size butter cow and the deep-fried butter on a stick, Republicans who are running for president tried to butter up the crowd. If we go back to the Constitution, we're going to solve just about all of our political and economic problems. I've got the most specific, oh. uh, most aggressive, bold. Okay, so we see, uh, of course, that piece there with Ron Paul, but uh, we see Palin being, uh, oh, she's still carrying this thing on. Now we see her in Iowa. All of a sudden she gives a 36, 38 minute speech. Oh, is she going to announce her presidency? You see, Bachman we see starting to fail. She was there to help take some of the light away from Ron Paul. You see that connection there. Going through all her little schemes and skedaddles in this farm lady, no doubt of Christian white right winger and she says okay you know oh she's like one of us no she isn't she is being controlled and manipulated by her handlers to do exactly what they have designed her to do you see a Ron Paul that man is tried true steady wake up people wake up what is it with Christians that like to be duped what is it that they like to be 
you know, made fools out of half the time. Come on, wake up. Now let's see this dupe setter over in this lecture, this little speech he gave uh, uh, the other day. Listen, listen now they're going to use her to try to act like a Ron Paul, to try to give some of his, you know, you try to steal some of his thunder. Like I said, Bachman's fading. She's out of the picture. Trust me. This one here now is going to be used on the other side of it to try to take the tea party, that part that Perry may not be getting, or uh, uh, not so much Romney because I don't know what part he's getting, but, you know, come on, let's just look at this here for a second. When we finally did get slapped then with that inevitable downgrade, the politicians and the pundits, they turned around and they blamed us. Independent, common sense conservatives, we got blamed. They called us un-American and terrorists and suicide bombers and hobbits. <laughs> Couldn't understand that we one. We love to be duped. And what is the president's answer to this enormous debt problem? It's just spend more money. Only you can't call it spending now. Now you got to call it investing, right? Oh. Don't call it spending. Call it investing. I don't have a teleprompter, but I have it on paper. Watch what happens now with them. FEMA and some of these other bureaucratic agencies. They're, they're saying now they don't really want to refer to our There's centralized FEMA. federal government as government. See? Now it's called the federal family. Oh. That's how they'll refer it. Federal Am I too old to ask to be emancipated, I wonder? <laughs> Never thought I'd say it, but I want a divorce. Okay, so we see her trying to play the part just like Perry did day one, came right out of the thing and criticizing the Federal Reserve. We see all the little, the little keywords in here. We see uh, uh, FEMA, we see the Federal Family, the article. You can go look at it or you can uh, bring it up, just plug in uh, Federal Family. Oh, I think it was Palm Beach Post or something. At any rate, uh, just plug in Federal Family. It'll come up. You want to read that article. Okay, let me go back just for a moment because I wanted to get this out because I just feel strongly about it. Many of you are going to say, what are you spending so much time on Palin? Because Palin, number one, is an operative. She's being handled, and she's being handled to steal votes. I am putting this out. Because if there's a handful of people, of, and I'm especially talking to this Christian right wing part of the Tea Party, not the Tea Party that was founded upon constitutional principles, but the one that's been taken, co-opted by the Republican operatives and have used this little mind control gidget here to, to, to work along with them. Okay, here we are. Uh, let me just read here because i got to close this up. Uh, Ron Paul's message to the Tea Party. It was uh, via the New York Times just the other day. This was back a year ago. Listen what he said, though. As many frustrated Americans who have joined the Tea Party realize we cannot stand against big government at home while supporting it abroad. We cannot talk about fiscal responsibility while spending trillions on occupying bullying the rest of the world. We cannot talk about the budget deficit and spiraling domestic spending without looking at the cost of maintaining an American empire of more than 700 military bases in more than 120 foreign countries. We cannot pat ourselves on the back for cutting a few thousand dollars for a nature preserve or an inner city swimming pool at home while turning a blind eye to Pentagon budget that nearly equals those of the rest of the world combined. While the Tea Party will be out supporting Glenn Beck, and, and that's the end of the quotes, quote unquote, that was Ron Paul. Here's the key. While the Tea Party will be out supporting Glenn Beck and Sarah Palin this weekend, you wonder how many of them will be in full support of more wars and paying more interest to a group of untouchable and unauditable private bankers, otherwise known as the Fed. This is precisely what Ron Paul is asking the American public to consider when looking at the Tea Party leaders 
and say if we really stand for what we believe in. Ron Paul believes the Tea Party is not about left or right like a lot of political pundits make it out to be. It's about the Constitution and limited government. Okay, this, because of the co-opting of the Tea Party, this Ron Paul shocking message to the Tea Party is, let's take, let's, you know, this thing is being co-opted, uh, it's being taken over, and we remember back then, a year ago, Glenn Beck and Sarah Palin, we see the operation right there. Now Beck's off a new Fox News and gone off on his little thing to try to re, uh, replicate uh, uh, Alex Jones. And but Palin is continuing on because she is an operative. She is a uh, probably a mind control operative with handlers being used to go out and to do what she needs to do. Make sure Ron Paul doesn't. Uh, get voted in. Well, I got news for you, Palin. I got news for you people out there that are uh, some so dumbed down and duped by this operation. Ron Paul is going to win. He's going to win on the issues. And he's going to win with the message. And we, the American people that are awake, that know what's going on, and are not willing to be duped by these clowns, are going to stand tall, strong, and we're going to take this land, this co this government back, and we're going to bring our constitution back into where it belongs. I want to thank you for joining us. I'm DW reporting for FreedomNetDaily.com. You guys have a good day, and we'll see you on the next report.